Thank you for visiting my channel and remember to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you will be notified on our daily video releases. Hello everyone. Welcome to Current News Events with Sandra. I hope that you're having a fabulous day today. Well, we're starting off 2021 with a very uplifting story that I'd like to share some information with you about. And it's about a 12-year-old black genius accepted at Georgia Tech University. And he has dreams of going to Mars, okay? This is such an uplifting story with all the negativity that we experienced in 2020. So I'd like to share the backstory with you about this black boy genius. A 12 year old boy in Atlanta has dreams of going to Mars. Those dreams are not far fetched as the boy already has been accepted into college. Caleb Anderson is not your typical 12 year old child. He is currently enrolled in high school and takes classes at a local technical college. In the fall of 2021, he will be attending Georgia Tech University. And yes, this 12-year-old has already been accepted to Georgia Tech. And one day he hopes to travel to Mars. But first, he has some other lofty goals. He says that he wants to try to get his master's at Georgia Tech, then do an internship with Elon Musk, then I'll probably get my Ph.D. at MIT, and then I think I'll start working at either NASA or SpaceX. Caleb said this in an interview with a WSB News reporter. His mother, Clara Anderson, said she noticed something was different with Caleb when he was just a small baby. She said, at three weeks old, I did notice that Caleb was trying to mimic some of my words. By four months, he was picking up basic signs, and he is proficient in sign language at a young age, she recalled. Caleb could read at six months old. He started taking college classes at age 10. This young man that you see in this picture right here is our future. And I'm sure it's so many other stories like this out there about our young black um, people. So I'd like to share, uh, as I usually do at this point in my videos, I'd like to share the local news coverage that will give you more insight on this remarkable boy genius, Caleb Anderson. And then at the end of the video, I'd like to uh, ask you some questions about what you thought about this young man that you are learning about today. So let's look at the local media coverage. To water after I set our garage on fire. <laughs> nice. I also tried to get some uranium and build an atomic engine, but that stuff's hard to find. Probably for the best. Millions of Americans know characters like Young Sheldon as super smart prodigies on television. Well, this morning you're going to meet the real deal and we're going to put him on television. That's Caleb Anderson. He's a kid genius who is not yet a teenager, but is already cruising through college courses and is set to go to a very prestigious university. As Mark Strassman shows us, before he could even walk, Caleb could astound people around him. Which smart kids apply every year to Georgia Tech, but no one like Caleb Anderson. He's 12. I'm not really smart, I just grasp information quickly. So if I learn quicker, then I can get ahead faster. This elite engineering school fell over itself recruiting him. I'll get in here. Caleb saw the labs. He met the school's president. I have heard so much about you. Welcome to Georgia Tech. Thank you. He's a perfect candidate to come into our program and be very successful. Is his admission guaranteed? I would expect that he would be admitted for sure. Admitted to study aerospace engineering. Claire and Kobe Anderson, Caleb's parents. What's it like to be touring a college when your kid is 12? I don't think anything that Caleb's done has been normal for us. By age one, he was reading. Caleb. Fun. 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 At two, he knew sign language and how to do fractions. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three. I have this distinct memory of 
going to the first grade class and learning there, everyone was way taller than me. Because, you know, I was two. I could barely walk. <laughs> Middle school was awful. It always is. The kids there, they kind of looked down on me. Or they treated me like I was an anomaly. And, um, which I kind of am. He's taken college courses for a year. His parents now want a university that's the right fit for a tween genius. We want him to be in an environment where he's accepted and not tolerated. If he comes to Georgia Tech, he's not rushing a fraternity. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> not at all. We're definitely protecting him. Make sure that when he is an adult, that he'll make a great husband or great father, a great friend one day. Lots of people think they're the smartest person in the room. Caleb really is. Does it ever occur to you, you know what, I'm, I'm looking at college and I'm 12 years old. This is my life, this is how I am, and um, I've been living this way my whole life. He accepts that he's different, definitely smart. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. Well, everyone, I thought this was such a powerful story about this young boy genius coming out of the metro Atlanta, Georgia area. And this story just proves that we have excellence in our young people. And back in the ancient times, we were kings and queens. We created the pyramids. We did had scientists. We built cities. You know, but a lot of that has been bred really out of us because of the school systems that we have. And from generation to generation, the kids are not getting the education and uh, teachers that can motivate their creativity. Now, this young man had this gift in his genes as a baby, you know, and it's plenty of other black young people out there that has these same gifts. But I'd like to commend Caleb Anderson on the achievements that he has made at such a young age at 12 years old. And I hope he continues on his path to excellence. And I would like to uh, ask a question of you since everyone has uh, watched this uplifting video on this young man. What do you think about Caleb's, Caleb's accomplishments at such a young age? And what can we do to help our young people achieve more in their educational environment? You know, maybe the schools aren't really teaching them um, as they should be, but you know, they have to go to the public schools nine times times out of 10. But what can we do as a community to help our kids achieve greatness in in the education and the sciences, you know, at, uh, at a young age? Is there any programs that we can start in our community to help our young people uh, to achieve their goals or just open up their mind to curiosity? Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this um, very uplifting story on Yub Caleb. And like I always do at this time, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and please click that bell icon so that you will be made aware of my daily video releases. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome, awesome day.